okay so today just i am uh, assigning the business unit function so so first we i gone to set up and maintenance then set up as finance uh, organi- organization structure so this is actually i am starting ap uh, means accounts payable so first we will assign this business function uh, assign business unit and uh, this window will open and we will go to select add apply and go to task if uh, yes one business where we are assigning the functions and push we after this assigning i am not able to see how to see any uh, you know the steps to see prashant uh, what what sir uh, you if you i am assigning the business unit it's okay so after this where you know how to you view the select view this. select and add select and add i added but after the selection so search go to advanced uh, advanced search click fonts this yeah and uh, view the business yeah. is it here now Yeah. Here you have to search yes, yes one. So if you after the clicking, just this uh, this will open yeah. or come scroll down, scroll down. Yeah. This only box is coming. Is it correct or any wrong? It's correct. Correct, sir. But it should show something, right? Ah. Uh, what was? So any other uh, uh, tasks uh, uh, to view this? Can you view it? Go on. So we have any other task to view it, or does this no, much? No, we don't. Do. No, we don't have any other task to do it. Uh, just uh, click the select from from scroll uh, from scroll down select. Yeah, it is Make same sense. same thing only, na? Yeah, but why should it not? It's same thing. So like then I sit then only all coming here only. Okay. Uh, what if? But after this, you know what is uh, basically happening. this only yeah. assigning to the us uh, to perform US the transaction yeah. okay so next after this i am uh, general account and i will this is how a calendar open so already open the but <clears throat> okay if you want you can now change the data set to us ledger then 
then we have to open <coughs> all the accounts on the calendar already open but if you want to open you can open with open target where you can open other periods as well so yeah this is how a calendar we have to open and we can open via select and open and close these are future periods this is march 2023 and it is quite open. it's also open so if you want to open you have to select it and open And next step uh, in payables, we will going to create supplier. So for supplier, we will go to procurement. For creation of supplier, we have we require some rules, right? Yeah. For creation, for creation of, of suppliers, we need some rules. So. Uh, what are the rules required for to creation of a supplier? It doesn't need much. So you can create directly, right? From create supplier. So yeah, you can say you are saying yes. Yeah, some rules are there. Yeah, yeah. So Business Relations Spend Authority, Organization Type is Corporation, Tax Currency, Current uh, Countries, it is United States, and mm, some numbers. Can you show it in your uh, lap laptop? If, if there is uh, there is a rule. Have it in your laptop, Prashant. (coughs) 
yes mathi uh, you have it in an, in your laptop uh, no uh, a john with mobile i have laptop uh, no no i am saying you said na some rules of for creating a supplier supplier one was a supplier manager and one other was was supplier administrator we are saying about job responsibility me yeah a uh, creation of this okay okay to perform the yeah, yeah. yeah sorry sorry it's not for me i i am not getting it for creation of supplier was for creation of suppliers uh, we yeah. required two roles one was supplier manager and one other was supplier administrator Uh, so am i audible yeah yeah sure you are audible so just time i will show you are saying about roles right yeah so we we will have This is our user, and uh, this is our user. So, what are you saying? Supplier administrator and supplier manager. Both are we having already? Okay. sir generalizer completed ah huh? not no completed i will uh, continue this this basic steps only i created uh, i'll continue okay sir so i we i am having supply administrator and supply manager anything else anything else any doubt this creating the supplier didn't create it over this is authorities uh, the authorized and organization type will be corporate the country can be us register number uh, actually uh, it is not mandatory but any any particular uh, code is there for each tax registration number prashant you there y- yes sir so it is any code or something for tax registration number uh, no for this you can uh, it's any way it's vision only right you can uh, give any anything like yeah okay any supplier example
This is the screen for our supplier and we will already know the cat field is there but anything needs to fill, fill up here. Supplier type will be supplier. Second, yeah, some right. there's a some step I am literally. Anything to say? Organization there is to confirm. There is anything to fill here? It is not necessary, right? Actually, I am not remembering anything to. So we have to uh, define our procurement procurement agent also. So our number is one four five one, and uh, I think we should uh, define procurement agent also as well.
tables manage procurement select add same If we are uh, uh, doing it again, it will not uh, get uh, puzzled. If I just now I am create uh, assigning it, I am assigning it to the CS one business unit. Then if another time I, I if I select assign it, uh, what will happen? will be fault or okay no problem prashant y yes sir okay it will be not no no issues hmm? it will be no issues if i assign it again right yes sir Now, oh, and what is mm. after this? What should be there? We define pay payment terms after that. Okay. Payment terms, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's already predefined, right? Yeah. Payment but terms. So we can create it as well. Yeah, we have to assign to our uh, business function, right? Business unit. Yeah, yeah, we should. Uh, should be in payments, right? Or any other module. It was in procurement foundation, Procu it procurement itself. Yeah, okay. Set up and maintenance. Yeah, set up. Set up and maintenance, it comes under. Not here. Oh, okay. That's right. Procurement. Not fine, fine. It's procurement. Oh, procurement. In procurement foundations, click on select procurement foundations. Okay, then then we have the uh, manage procurement and manage payment terms. Yeah. So we have to create it. Um, yeah. yeah, if you want, we have to create it or we can use the seeded ones also. Uh, if we create, yeah. so we have to assign it to our business unit. Uh. Yeah. Actually, we, we don't need to create, right? We actually have all the yes. payment terms you okay then we don't need to create uh, freight terms and manage carriers and all no 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 we 
already no. it is already predefined yeah okay if you uh, like if you want to create some uh, like ledger general ledger then all okay yeah all it means list of values are given predefined terms are there yeah okay another what you told after the payment terms right terms like uh, right terms no next step what you said for implementation we create a Yeah, after that you said something about uh, payment only is that one is supplier portal or uh, business user portal supply portal so uh, what you said supply portal business unit portal mm, uh, yeah business user business user, user. Yeah. so uh, yan what is the step to go there lee mm. system admin uh, you have to go to setup and maintenance okay You have the steps to that for uh, both the uh, both the uh, what you said right now supplier port you have I have the steps for supplier portal. Actually, I have to see where it is. Should be there.
Oh, I should refer with uh, somebody, I guess. Not getting. I okay. So I work here. So I should. Uh, uh, you are uh, available in some minutes or what? We'll continue.